I like songs that tell a story. And the women that tell them. 50? Where did all the years go? It seems like only yesterday I was lying on the floor, eating my pixie sticks and drooling over an album cover of David Cassidy in a white suit. <laughs> I forget everything. For example, the other day I went to help my neighbor, Margaret, out of bed. Her daughter's in Oakdale for a week and she's only got one leg. <laughs> Margaret, not the daughter. <laughs> Hi, honey. It's only me. I go into the bedroom and open the curtain and she says, Oh, Barbara, dear. Uh oh, hope you didn't walk over here like that. Like what, I say? You got your skirt all tucked up in the back of your dress there. She said, oh, I think you forgot to put your underpants on, too. Oh. I think the way people air their dirty laundry in public is the downfall of our society. Oh, you got Jerry Springer and Dr. Phil and Honey Bobo, Boo Boo, whatever, <laughs> tweeting every banal thought. <laughs> A bit of yoga, although I won't be going back to that class I went to last week. There I was, saluting the sun, transitioning to warrior. Without warning, I let go a very loud feminine fart. <laughs> Can't say I really enjoyed the rest of the class. And I wasn't the only one. You try doing downward facing dog while clenching your bum to hold back that five-point smart one enchilada you had for lunch. <laughs> but if it's hot, I can now fan myself with my upper arm. Woo! Feel the breeze! <laughs> if I want to look good in clothes, I have to wear these. Spanks! <laughs> I affectionately like to refer to them as my big pants. <laughs> it is a physical impossibility for a middle-aged woman with a weak bladder to successfully escape spanks quickly enough to avoid an accident. <laughs> and then she places my warm boob on an ice-cold glass plate. And then she squeezes it louder than a pancake with another cold glass plate. Okay, stand still, hey. <laughs> if I could make a run for it, believe me, I would. But I cannot move a muscle without ripping my boob off. The creases and thin lips can stay. There'll be no big pants or Botox for me. And what's wrong with looking old? That my teeth will fall out, my bones will weaken, and my hair will get thinner. Who said being 50 wasn't going to be fun? Paint it up, powdered up, then you ought to be